My mom works in a bar and so my grandfather does not approve of me staying with her because of she's like a drug addict and so mm. it's not approved for me to stay with her because it's it's like something bad in our community so that's why I have to go and live with my grandma. We have to walk for a long distance to get water and we we dig into the ground uh -huh. until we get water. Some of the people at my age, some are married and some are working in people's farms or somewhere and some are just, um, they are unemployed so they just stay at home doing, it's like doing nothing. In my village there is no much education in my village. Most of the girls in my village leave school and they got married. I want to study and change my village to be like other villages. We had the post-election violence. It was everywhere in BBC news stations. So like different tribes were fighting. I am a Kikuyu. And so our tribe was taken to be the biggest tribe and that we wanted to rule over Kenya, something like that. And the other tribe was also saying we are the ones who are supposed to do this. If a Luo found a Kikuyu, they would kill each other. If a Kikuyu found another tribe, they would kill the person. So. By that time I was in Nairobi and at night you just hear screams. Mm. People would scream then the following day you'd hear in a certain river a person was found dead. At night you would hear people shouting and screaming, help me, help me, they are killing me, they are killing me. And mostly the people who mostly suffered were the women and children. They suffered a lot because mm, in Naivasha that's where everything like was so bad. And it is said that most of the political leaders also contributed to this. In our community, was, there was no problem, but in other communities, there was violence. There were houses on fire, people killing each other because of tribal. Mm -hmm. They used to, for example, if me I'm a cause, I used I used not to I I was told not to love Ekikuyu because. People from the coast were supporting the crew, were supposed like by loading at the president, and the people on this, on the central province, were supporting Mojibaki. So that brought about violent and problems in the country. <laughs> Singers, because is that it's like they have there is a gender oppression, and the the women are being are being viewed as the lowest class, as the lowest level, and the men are the one that view the women that way. It's like even if they they raise their voice to any effort, the the men will not agree with them. I feel so sad. I feel bad. A Kenyan woman is a woman with strength and a woman with power. And it's only that we are despised or taken as low lives, but in real sense, we are stronger than the men around us. But not in a bad way. We are stronger than the men around us in some way. And we have our own uniqueness and we have our own strength, even though we have our weaknesses. In the community I came from, the, 
women are not allowed even to express themselves in front of men. Mm -hmm. So they just stay at home. Their work is to do things at home, taking care of children. Mm -hmm. They are not educated, but mm -hmm. the men are the ones who are taken as the leaders. My mother and my and my brother, they they bought a lot of goodies, as in juice, popcorns, and then they took they took them to my grandmother's home. And I was wondering that was not a usual thing for my mother to do, only to find out that they were planning for me to be circumcised. But all in all, my aunt came and rescued me. So yeah, since that day, I really felt that. that I really felt bad. You know, in our culture, they don't, they don't support adult education. But now, because they have, maybe they have had some, some women, young women. Yeah. So now they have the courage that if we continue with our education, we can be great people in the future. Sometimes I feel that women are stronger than, than men. And sometimes I feel that they are equal because we are given the same mind to think. I'm proud to be the writer and also I'm proud to be a, a woman because before I came here I was I was like I don't have confidence but now I can talk to people. They feel proud that because many of them were not expecting me to go to school because my grandma my grandfather died who was providing us with the school fees then it to me let me say it was a miracle to come to the raja they are expecting me to change most of the lives of the ones who are unborn mm. and they want to change their lives because because that time they will be having their families. Also, their expectations, it is that I have bright future, which is better than theirs. Because now I get the opportunity to get here, and I'm provided with everything, I have to work hard and ensure that I achieve my goals and improve my talents, my talents in other hands. It is like a bridge. Because if sometimes I recall where I come, I came from, I feel like just frustrated and I begin crying. Because if it was not for the rat, I don't know where I could be. Perhaps I could have killed myself. Then the most thing is which is preventing Kenya from pursuing their goal is tribalism, which is not good because everybody is a Kenya and they should not look back at the tribe or the background of people. They should support each and every person with the same respect. A perfect Kenya, a place with peace, like the way it was before. We never had tribalism. Mm. We lived, we said that we were all Kenyans. It didn't matter if you are white or black, or a Kikuyu or a Luo, a Kamba or a male, a Muslim or a Christian, it doesn't matter. We all live in Kenya and we are all Kenyans. I would like to change my family the way, from the way it is to, I could let the poor people and the disadvantaged and after that I'll educate the poor people. And my family will just con my village will just continue that. To my fellow youth, I think what you are doing is really in incredible, and it touches the bottom of the bottom of my heart because I know that what you do is the real thing that happened 
and we are trying to find solutions. And I know that on, on your way, there, there are many holes that may trap you and may lead you to failures, but know that those, those holes are there to strengthen you and are there to give you hope. And know that with hope and everything, with hope and determination in life, you can do most incredible things. I'd like to tell the students from the University of San Diego and the Mexican high school student to keep on with their education and to make sure that they fight these problems that are all over the world and to make the great things in their life. If we together hold hands together, not caring about the different races or the different tribes or the different anything, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is making the change that we want to see in the world. And that change begins with us ourselves. It doesn't begin with anyone next to me. It begins with me and you. And together we can make the world better. There are, there is a precious gift. Just be.